Welcome back everyone. So recently I've run into a bit of a problem. I've been going away quite consistently and leaving the fish room unattended. Now as you guys know it can be quite difficult to find someone to feed your fish when you go away and I've personally run into this issue um, way too often and I've been on a bit of a hunt lately to find the perfect solution but I think I actually have. So a few days ago Hyga and Aquarium Company sent out their automatic feeder and I've received it and I have to tell you I'm super excited about this because I believe this product is going to make a huge difference and I think it is the solution to my problem and if you guys are experiencing the same thing it'll be the solution to your problems as well. So without any further ado let's just get into it. So we've now installed our Hyga automatic feeder onto the aquarium and I've used it a few times, I've used it on a few other aquariums in the fish room and I can now say that it's probably one of my favourite pieces of equipment in the fish room. So fun to use and I'm still actually experimenting with it to see you know, what kind of stuff we can do. The reason why I've set it up on this tank is this is my big display aquarium and I mean if I do go away this is the one that's going to be the most annoying aquarium. I know there's going to be a debate um, you know, with a lot of people saying, oh, you've got so many aquariums, you know, how can this be useful to me? Well, that is true, but for the average person, they're not going to have this many aquariums, so they're not going to have that problem in the first place. Um, but if you're asking about me, I could, just get, I could just get more of these and just put them on multiple aquariums, and then it would only mean that, you know, someone would have to come and put food in a few tanks. But that's besides the point. I believe this can still help heaps of people um, with you know numerous situations. There's a few really cool features about this that I just want to quickly touch base on. So the automatic feeder, once you've plugged it into the wall, got it all set up through their app, is very, very cool. So it has a camera that you can actually see here, I've just got my phone on charge because it's about to die, that I've stuck onto the end of the aquarium here and you can actually see it live when you go onto your app so you can see if your fish eat when you feed them when you're away. Um, and well, you can just inspect your aquarium, see how it's going, you can see if your fish are all acting natural, and um, you can take photos, videos, all that kind of thing. It's so cool to me, like this is like one of the coolest features about this, I swear. And you can also feed and set up meal plans from the app. So this is what I'm gonna be doing when I go away, I'm gonna be setting up a meal plan, so you just go into meal plan, there won't be any meal plans, unless you've made one, so you go add. And you can see here that you can choose um, when it's going to feed. So you've got like your whole week planned out here. You've got your um, serving size and a bunch of other stuff there. So you can set times and stuff like that. It's, I believe this is going to be revolutionary for a lot of people. I know there's been automatic feeders out for a long time, but this one is so perfect in its engineering. Um, it makes it so easy for people you know, to be able to feed their fish when they're away, to view them even. I think that's genius, having a camera to be able to view your fish when you're feeding them is next level. The other cool thing about this camera that I've noticed as well is if we can turn the lights off, how cool is that? So the camera actually goes into like a night vision mode so you can see it in the dark as well. So that's another cool feature about it, um, it's got like a night vision setting. So if you wanted to feed your fish at night, maybe you've got some nocturnal fish, I think this is um, another really cool thing about it. There is another thing, if let's just say you've been away and you come back home and you want to continue feeding with the automatic feeder, you don't want to feed them when you're around and all you want to do is just watch your aquarium, you don't even want to feed them, you can set your meal plan up and continue to have this feed your fish. All you have to do is open your lid and put your fish food in there. That's literally all you have to do. It's so crazy. It's like you put heaps and heaps of food in there as much as you want. That's kind of the reservoir where the food sits. Um, it's uh, waterproof, you know, there's not going to get any bugs in there, it's very safe um, for food, which is great. The other thing you can do is you can actually manually feed. So let's say I wanted to feed my fish right now, all I have to do is press this button. It's just going to feed whatever ser serving size you've set up and there you go, that's your morning feed done or your whole feed for your day depending on how much you do feed. The next thing is you can feed through the app, so what we're going to do there's not any point feeding it right here because we're literally in the room. So we're going to go out, we're going to drive up the road, um, we'll go out um, for the day or something and then we'll at some point feed and see. Something else that I'm going to touch base on as well about this feeder that I really like 
is they give you a variety of different options as to how you position it on your tank or connect it to the aquarium, stuff like that. And I think that's what makes this particular feeder king out of any others, is just the wide range of different attachments it comes with. So the current attachment that I have going on here is definitely my favorite. And the reason why it's my favorite is most, if not all of my aquariums have giant outside um, like ledges that lids sit on and it makes it difficult to put, or impossible in some circumstances, to put the clamp um, on. It's just not gonna work, right? So they supply you with this attachment, which is a, just kind of like a cup holder, if I had to describe it. And it sits in it. It's also got a sticky pad at the back. So you can stick it to your lids or like permanently mount it down so it won't fall over if something hits it. Um, it's pretty sturdy as is, so I don't actually have that stuck to the glass at the moment because I need to be cleaning lids and stuff like that. So I just have it sitting there and this is gonna be the most um, practical for me because most of my aquariums are like kind of impossible to use this attachment, except for a few, there are some that this would be way more practical than this. And I'm sure for most of the people at home watching, this is gonna be the most um, used attachment in the kit. And most of you probably won't even go for this um, cup holder. But this one actually screws into the bottom of the actual automatic feeder and it enables you to actually screw it onto your glass panel and it's very sturdy. Um, and it'll just sit there, overhang your aquarium and feed your fish that way. That's just something I wanted to talk about because Hyga's done a great job of making sure that this is gonna suit a huge variety of different um, you know, circumstances for different types of aquariums. You can put whatever type of food um, you want in here. Obviously, I'm gonna be feeding Bug Buffet, it's the best food um, for the fish that I'm keeping. And it actually works great. You've got a couple of different ways you can feed the Bug Buffet. Um, with this so it comes naturally in a pellet form and I don't have many large fish in the fish room if not I don't really have any large fish so feeding these large pellets would um, not really be the right thing to do so what I do is I actually take these pellets out and like grind them up like that into the powder that I want but I do it into there so all that's in this chamber right now the little food reservoir is a powder and it's got a couple of different sizes that have crunched up into there and that is works perfect. I've got the small food setting, um, it comes with two. So let's say that you wanted to feed a slightly larger food, they give you this here and um, I've got the smaller one at the moment, most of you guys will be using the smaller one as well unless you're feeding like large cichlids or something like that, they would eat whole pellets, maybe bristle noses. Um, but they give you an option for food size um, as well but the one that it comes with as is works best for me and best for that bug buffet powder does an even spread does it perfectly as if I was doing it myself yeah that's what I do food wise now let's test this out um, let's test the app out and see if we can do a feeding with us not being here so I apologize if this recording isn't that great I'm currently in the car um, I've just driven down the road quite a ways and I just wanted to see if we could do a feed from the vehicle as we're going out. So I'm just gonna go into my phone. What you guys need to do is get your automatic feeder, set it on your kitchen bench and trial out the different food serving sizes to figure out how much you wanna to feed to different aquariums. So for me, that um, serving size of like three works perfectly for me because it's feeding a quite a big community aquarium and the food's going to be demolished no matter what so I can actually feed that you know a couple times a day whereas if I put that over a fry aquarium I have to be very careful how much you know I feed so figuring out the, the food serving size is probably one of the most vital parts about um, you know setting up your automatic feeder go into the app here I don't know if you guys can see that I'm literally watching my fish or watching the fish tank right now as we speak I'm not even there Let's do a feed, shall we? There's, there's, you can tell I'm on the road because there's people driving by. Camera. Okay, I'm recording and I'm gonna do a feed. Oh, there we go. No freaking way. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I have ever seen. 
That is crazy. I just did a feed just then. There you go, you can see it falling. Wow, what the heck. This, honestly guys, this is the coolest thing that I've ever had in my fish room. I think in conclusion, this automatic feeder is gonna help so many people. Like, I'm so genuine about this because I've kind of made an oath with myself that I'll never do a product review if there's faults with it or there's you know defects that I don't like and I'll say it blunt in the video. If there's something I don't like about a product, I'm gonna say it. I kid you not, there's only one thing about this feeder that I could say could be tweaked maybe, um, but aren't actually issues, is the camera. It doesn't stick, like it falls off sometimes, like when you stick it to the glass, um, I found through, you know, long periods of time, it just kind of just decides to peel off the tank. Um, but there's so many, like, I wouldn't not buy the feeder just because the camera falls off. You can literally just clamp it. Like, it's not a game changer for me. Um, I think that they could probably put some stickier um, double-sided tape on it to make it stick better. I'm never gonna push a product that I don't think is something that would be helpful to people. Um, but I genuinely believe this product is going to be revolutionary. I think it's going to actually change a lot of people's um, fish keeping experience and make it a lot easier for people to go away. A huge thanks to Hyger for sending that product out. If you guys are interested in getting this product, I have an affiliate link. Um, it'll be down in the description. So make sure that you use the code down in the description because you guys are gonna get a discount ordering through me um, or through that special code. And that way you, you guys will also be supporting the channel um, as I'll get like a very small little profit off that as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys are genuinely interested in ordering this product, go down to the description, have a bit of a look and see if this product works for you. Don't forget to use the code and, um, and I hope that it really works well for you guys because it's worked a dime for me.